Princess Leticia. It has been some time, Captain Bertrand. Uh, where is my father? He awaits within. We have just concluded our usual strategy meeting. Sir Albert and the rest of your party may enter as well. Father, I am sorry to intrude. Pray forgive my long and selfish absence. <clears throat> ah, yes. Full glad am I to see you return, Leticia. I apologize for the distress my current whereabouts must have caused you. Might I entreat you to introduce me to your allies? Of course, Father. They have been invaluable companions on my journey. This is Sir Raymond. Lady Elena, and Lady Nina. Rise, friends. I owe you much for helping my... Huh? Ah. Might you be Filberto's daughter? You remember me, Your Majesty? As if one could forget. Is Marcus well? He is. Still alive and kicking. Father, there is aught I would report. Nina de Forge has discovered a cure for Helgar's disease. Can it be true? Well, um, not all by myself. I, uh, got a lot of help from Dad, uh, my father, Dr. Marcus, Ray, and Elena. I have also brought Maester Midas Felgreed to the royal city. Midas has come back? We may have no assurance of his cooperation, but the Maester's return, Lady Nina's discovery of the cure for Helgar's, and the safe passage of both myself and Albert to the royal city, all would not have been possible without the help of Sir Raymond and Lady Elena. Hmm. Is that so? Thank you for going to such lengths to aid my daughter. Nah, no prob. Ray. Pray forgive him, your majesty. You are too generous. Father... If you would truly thank these two, I beseech you. Raymond's friend, Chloe Canaris, is being held here in Baldar. She was imprisoned under suspicion of acting as an Imperial agent. Please grant her release. I will see to it she is released immediately. Bertrand... Leticia has brought us a veritable mountain of good tidings. Full glad am I to hear it. Hmm. What will you all do from here on? We do not intend to impose any longer than we already have. We shall return to the royal city as soon as Chloe is released. Night has nearly fallen, so it might be best to depart come morning. Allow us to see to your sleeping arrangements. Assuming the worst were to happen... Wouldn't civilians like ourselves only get in the way? Imperial spies walk among us. And they may be watching Leticia's every move, even now as we speak. Broad daylight will certainly prove a boon, if that be the case. I see. And yes, your friend has been in captivity for some time. It may not be wise to exert her too quickly. Besides, this reunion is long in coming. I am sure you have much to discuss. Your concern is greatly appreciated. We will do as you say. Captain Bertrand, please inform the guards to release Chloe at once. And see to it that Leticia and her friends have a place to rest their heads. Right away, Your Majesty. <laughs> 